Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So I'm filming on location, still here again in Las Vegas for CES 2022. So in the hotel room again. I had the opportunity today to go hands-on with the new S21 FE, also known as the Fan Edition. I'm not really sure why it exists, and we're going to address that here in a minute, but I actually really like it, and that surprised me a lot, and that's what I want to talk about in this video, because the phone is going to be out here in a couple of days. You can buy it. Just got announced, $699. On paper, it looks really good. 1080p display, AMOLED beautiful 120 hertz refresh rate it's not an ltpo which means it doesn't have a variable refresh rate so it doesn't throttle down so it doesn't save as much battery as the like the s21 ultra but beautiful screen 6.4 inch it's not a curved edge display 128 gigabytes of storage starting out with six gigs of ram no sd card i don't like that that's not there especially since it's a fan edition but the curious thing is at 699 that's all well and good but the S22 is right around the corner, which is why it doesn't make sense to me. Now, I think this probably was supposed to come out earlier, and had it come out a couple months ago, it would have been positioned really, really well to compete with the Pixel 6 at $599, talking about a $100 difference here. And yeah, you gotta pay the Samsung tax, but overall, the construction is beautiful. Got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front, Glassic on the back, very thin, and getting my hands on it, at first I saw it and I was like, looks kind of like the S21, but they managed to make it look and feel more premium. So I like that a lot. I remember when the S21 first came out, I went and looked at it. It felt kind of plasticky and cheap and hollow to me. Fast forward now to the S21 FE, it feels like a smaller version of the S21 Ultra. And that's what I've been telling people. The camera bump is actually shaved down a little bit. It's thinner. The ergonomics are beautiful. Like this is really a good looking phone and it had it come out a couple months ago I would have been much more excited about it it does have the Snapdragon 888 which is good plenty of power there same as the flagship phones of last year 2021 but we've got the new Snapdragon Gener 8 generation 1 coming out with the new S22 phones and the price point I think is going to be just too similar it's going to either cannibalize the sales of the S22 or people are going to want to get the S22 because it's probably going to be about around $799, $849, whatever for the S22. And let's say find a way to push the price up. And if they do, that's going to be very concerning to me. Because they've been trying to bring the price down on the S series phones. Because we remember back to the days of the $1399 S20 Ultra. Way too expensive. So it's moved, back, it's moved down in price, the S series. But now with this at $699. And then you're getting 6 gigs of RAM and $128. Going into, I mean, we're in 2022 now, so I kind of would expect it to have eight gigs. I don't know why they did that. You got to pay extra money to get the 256 and the eight gig. I think it would have been more compelling at 699 if they had eight gigs of RAM. Of course, probably still the 128 because that's what they keep putting in these new phones, 128 baseline. So it's a really nice looking phone. Three camera setup on the back. It's got a 12 megapixel primary. It's also got an eight megapixel telephoto and then a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 32 megapixel selfie camera. So on paper, specs look good. IP68, it's also got wireless charging, reverse wireless charging. That's the thing with the fan edition. They really try to chalk like as much stuff in there as possible. And here in the States, we get the Snapdragon processor. It's gonna be good for years, running One UI 4, Android 12. It is a beautiful looking device, but I think it's gonna have a hard time with sales because it's so close to this S22. People are gonna hold off and wait. If you release something like this, this close to a launch of their major flagship that it's kind of similar in platform to last year's flagship, but kind of modified a little bit, a little bit dumbed down in a few areas, but still a very beautiful and gorgeous and capable phone. And then having the Pixel 6 at 599, if somebody goes into a carrier store, if they're even there, you're gonna go, okay, I can get the Pixel 6, which just came out for 599, which I think is an amazing phone. Hopefully get the software update issue fixed soon, but Pixel 6 S21 FE, they kind of compete with each other and is the $100 extra Samsung tax really worth it? And then looking just over the horizon, basically the rumors and the indicators point to a end of January, beginning of February release. We're already going on past the first week of 2022. So very curious, very curious that they would choose now to release it because it's going to be a difficult decision to make, especially the other thing. 
I saw S21 Ultras, I think, as low as like $790 with trade in the other day. So why would you want to pay $699 to get an S21 FE when you can get an S21 Ultra, even the regular S21, S21 Plus, for a much similar price point? And then they don't have the SD card storage in there. I just don't know why this phone exists. We heard rumors for a long time, and I know we have problems across the industry with getting the hardware out, the supply chain issues, the processors, the silicone. It makes it very difficult for manufacturers to get phones out. But I feel like, I don't know, the S20 FE was a big hit this last year. I know MKBHD, I believe he called it his phone of the year. It was a great phone on paper. It was a, like a revitalization and a rebirth of the fan edition, bringing it here to the States, giving us a really good quality phone. It's a great device. But then you look at the S21 FE, it's too close to the price point. It's, I think they could have done a little bit better with the pricing if they were going to bring it out, maybe drop it to 649 I know we're talking semantics here, but when you look at the Pixel 599, you look at what you can get an actual S21 for. If you can get the S21 for almost the same price, and you know, it's one of those things where you have to, you really have to make a decision. It's very identical and it's a year later, but basically the same phone. So I don't know. It, it just left me with a lot of question marks and a lot of concerns. And I think a lot of people are largely going to wait on the fence because there are people waiting on the fence for Google to fix the software issue with the Pixel. And then there's people waiting for the S22. Really, I think they missed the moment with this phone, but it does look nice. I really like the new olive color. The white color has got a textured back on it. It's a gorgeous looking phone. And honestly, it's a phone I would probably carry. So if you're into the fan edition, it's probably a really good buy for you, especially if you can get some good deals on it. But as far as the timing, the pricing, what you're getting with it, I'd probably go closer with the S21 or wait for the S22 or a Pixel. It just doesn't make a compelling argument. So that's why I'm, I'm curious. It, it doesn't make sense to me why Samsung did this other than they just made it and they just wanted to go ahead and get it out because of all the supply chain issues. So moving forward, we'll see what happens with the S22 and we'll keep our eye on the Pixel 6, which I've made a lot of content on that. I love mine. I don't have it with me here in Vegas right now, but overall, those are my thoughts on it. Had some nice B-roll here so you could see it. I don't know, what do you think? Does it look like a cool phone? Do you think that it makes sense? Do you think that it's something that you would be interested in buying? Sound off in the comments, we'll talk about it. And if you have any questions or comments, please head down to the comment section. I'll get back with you there. And if you enjoyed the video, as always, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.